Yo everybody, uh, welcome to this very informal video. I am the Hexed Man, and today we're just going to be talking. Uh, pretty much all it's going to be is what has, what might be, and what has been of this channel. And of me. Um, essentially, it's going to be very long form and very uh, rambly just talk of, you know, what's going on with the channel, what's going on with me, stuff that I feel I can't really cover in the updates because I don't want them to be too long, um, just possible anime discussion in general, um, just, you know, maybe what I'm about, kind of, you know, just that kind of stuff. If this doesn't uh, tickle your fancy, you can just look off. I'm, I'm telling you what this is going to be right now. Uh, yeah, it's going to be set with Final Fantasy XIV in the background. I will be playing it as I'm talking just to kind of have something there so you don't have to stare at my ugly mug for God knows how long. I, uh, it's going to be doing some Palace of the Dead, so nothing too spectacular going on in the background and is you know something that shouldn't distract me too much either but uh yeah um so when I was doing this I actually already recorded this somewhat I went and I rambled about just stuff I might have wanted to talk about like I was, it was kind of like a rehearsal. This is very unscripted, but now I have a no, an idea of somewhat of what I want to talk about. And uh, it came out to be almost an hour long, believe it or not. Um, some of it should be sure uh, cut out because it was stuff that is no longer important, such as the fact. My camera is crooked. Um, no. It's not quite what I was trying to say. Um, that I was going to ask if you guys wanted to see me do some Final Fantasy XIV. But it's already in here. So, you know? Not much I can say about that. Oh, look at that. We already got one. I don't really raid on here. I am barely into Heaven's Ward. I'm on Ravana story mode. So. Yeah. Um, but that was one of the things I was going to talk about if you guys wanted to see some stuff, but then I realized I don't really do much on here anyway. Besides, like, you know, lower rank hunts and. A little bit of crafting and gathering, you know, just boring stuff. So I figured I'll just maybe throw it in the background whenever I'm doing a discussion video like this where there really isn't anything else, excuse me, to put into the video. Uh, I was also talking about how if my computer wasn't a piece of shit, I would possibly record some Final Fantasy XI as well. But if I were to record that on my desktop, it would be super slow, it would be super laggy. It really wouldn't work. Um, not only that, but I haven't really played since Rhapsodies of Vanadil was out, so I'm super far behind. And yeah, so that's probably a no-go too. But on to other things. As I explained before, one of the reasons I have not been doing consistent videos is I'm looking for work. And I'm pretty sure I've got that mostly squared off now. Um, doing, you know, drug test and background check right now. I've already signed, like, for the position and everything. But... I'm just waiting for that to get back, and for me right now, that's more of a formality. 
just because I don't drink or do drugs, and if I didn't have a clean background check, then I would have not been able to work in the airport, uh, at the airport, which was my just previous job. So, at this point, it's just a waiting game. Um, so, but that had kept me fairly busy. Um, I hadn't been able to pay my rent this month. Thanks to my uh, friend's good graces, I have internet, even. So, it's all thanks to them that you guys are even going to be seeing this and anything else I've posted this month. Uh, month of June. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I know my videos for Gooby Chibi have been coming out pretty late. I was trying to have them come out on the day of release. But either things don't add up, like this uh, last Saturday here. I was at a housewarming party from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep. Uh... Oops, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and I've been helping my father with yard work for, you know, money to try to keep my fat belly full. Um, but yeah, so hopefully in about a, two weeks, I should be working. I say two weeks just because... You know, there's orientation, and there's training, and all that jazz. Um, and then when I start getting uh, my checks, I gotta take care, of, take care of some personal stuff first. But after that, I can start squaring off some money for getting better equipment. Um, me ranting, me uh, doing this video actually originally started off as... I just... Against my better judgment, and I'm just going to bite me in the ass later since uh, I spent most of the money I was going to have for food, I bought a camera stand for a tripod for my phone, since that's what I record on. So, my angle for my videos, you know, everything is going to be a little more standard, standardized, I should say. It's going to be more consistent. And... Yeah, so I'm happy with it so far. It, it's a little too bendy, but it was a uh, $15 thing. Seems like my cat has a hairball. Um, so yeah, once I get that, I'm going to pay off my stuff I need to get done for my real life. Um, then I'm going to start investing in computer parts so I can build a new desktop, therefore I can, you know, record on my desktop from my desktop. Because what I do right now is any video you've seen, I've had to rip it off of YouTube or where have you, download it, put it in my video, and uh, edit my video, all that, and then delete it off my computer. And that's just a process I don't want to have to go through. It feels very informal, like if I have to pause the video, then obviously I'll have to find out where I had to pause it, and then I will have to, you know, pause it for that amount of time. It, it just seems very fabricated. So that's why I try to do all my videos in a row without any interruptions, which obviously is best case scenario. But, you know, it is not always possible. Um, and after that, I want to get a digital camera so I can stop using my phone. I want to get a microphone so you guys can hear me better. New pair of headphones, you know. The, the whole nine yards. I want to get that stuff done so I can increase the quality of my videos. Excuse me. Um, but that's the part you've already heard before. Maybe not in that specific of detail, but 
that's the bit you've already heard. So, another time, another reason why sometimes videos just don't come out on time is because, I hate to say it, but sometimes after, you know, being busy all day long, every day, trying to find work, when I want to relax, I just don't want to have to react to stuff. I don't want to have to watch it. I uh, just want to relax, maybe sit back, play some game, and you know, just take a load off. Oh geez, my voice is starting to hurt because I've been doing this for so long now. Uh, but. Yeah. I'm just not always in the mood to be doing it. And... Sorry. That'll happen. I... I really do feel bad whenever I look at my video. My channel. Jeez, my throat is killing me. I look at my channel, and I see I haven't uploaded a video for like a, a week and a half. I don't like that. I really don't like that. And I figure when I get everything set up, I'll be able to have a more consistent upload schedule. I'll be able to tell you guys when things are coming out and actually be able to get them done whenever I say I am. On the note of videos, you guys might have been wondering where Code Mint is. I noticed Ruby Chibi is really the only thing I've been doing just because it's what I originally made the channel for was Ruby. But I do plan on finishing Code Mint. It's definitely still a thing. I've just been having trouble having finding the time. And wait, one what you guys may be wondering more, because it's been longer, is what the heck happened to Seven Deadly Schmucks? Um, the, the thing about that is the last video I uploaded, I think it was episode 4.5, it got a copyright thing by Sony. Trying to figure out what caused it, trying to figure out uh, how to get it off, because the part that it says it copyrighted, it's classical music that I don't think they had anything to do with. But I'm just trying to, you know, research, make sure maybe they didn't do a remix of it, or maybe it was Seven Delish Mucks themselves. I don't think Sony owns that. Um, so it, it's not available in, like, United States, Japan, Europe, you know. It's only available in certain places. It's got, like, 20-something views. But until I figure that out, and I figure out how to prevent that from happening again, I probably won't have any more Seven Deadly Schmucks out until that point. Uh, I love it, and I do want to continue, and I will continue at some point. I just I want to make sure I can hold up to you know copyright stuff. And that leads me to another thing that I need to start doing. I it's kind of I keep forgetting to do it is in my videos. I know it's in this description, but in the videos I really want to uh need to remember to say, you know, blah 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 is owned by blah blah blah, you know. Please support official releases, go check out their their stuff. I've been forgetting to say that. For a bit now and I need to start I either need to start putting making some kind of um, card to put into the video itself so that I don't forget or I need to just remember to say it every time which I can be a forgetful person so that might not be the best way of going about it for me 
I'm pretty sure I said it in that video itself. But, you know. No, that's a beetle. It's one more, you know, extra precaution that I need to do. Why did I flee or use my thing there? I guess I will have that when I'm not paying too much attention to it. I know we don't need to kill these, but I want to. Enough. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out this copyright stuff. I'm still very new to making YouTube videos and being on YouTube as a platform. So I'm trying not to draw their ire until I can figure out the system. But it will come up at some point. Also, I know somebody requested some videos. I don't remember who it was the comment, but I know it was for like that Pokemon starter thing and the uh, Ma Star Dragon Ball Z thing. I've already seen the Pokemon one, so I don't think that would be. I could really do a faithful reaction because I'm not just gonna phone it in and fake it. Um, but the other one, I'll definitely get to it when I have the chance. Let's give it to the healer. Um, it's just that with everything being so busy, I'm going to prioritize the videos, or the uh, series I've already started before I uh, go into anything new. And that will be the case for all requests from this point on. Um, I'll get to them when and if I can. And if I can't, it'll have to wait. If I've already seen it, then it's not going to happen. And frankly, um... I don't want to sound like a dick saying this, but if I'm not interested in it, or I don't feel like it'll fit the channel, then again, it's it's kind of up to my discretion whether I review to it or not, re react to it or not, rather. I'm trying not to look at it that way. I'm always going to try to give everything a chance, and I will always at least record one video. But if I record the video and I don't think that I've really liked it enough to want to continue, then I probably won't even put that first video up. I'll just flat out say, hey, I tried it. I wasn't too into it. If you said maybe it gets good, you know, two or three episodes down the line, I'll record those two. And if my opinion still doesn't change, they won't go up. If my opinion does change, then I'll put up all the ones that I've recorded at that time and continue from there. Um, it's just that, you know, I don't, I don't want to uh, record something I'm not interested in. It wouldn't be any fun for me. The pie wouldn't be too fun for you guys. Did I even get any uh, stuffed for this? I don't think I did. Oh, three. I, apparently, I did. Um, so that's how it's gonna work. I will try to keep, you know, my communications open on whether stuff is happening or not. If I seem to be taking a while to get back to somebody who's requested something, you know, just, just let me know again. It may have slipped my mind, or, you know, I might have forgot, I might have got lost in a sea of comments, which I don't see that happening, considering I have 32 subscribers as of right now. But maybe much later down the road, if I happen to get more subscribers and people actually commenting on my videos, if that becomes the case, then, you know, just be patient with me. I'll try to get to everybody. Um, also, if I don't reply to a certain comment, it might just be that I don't have anything to say. Um... Cause I don't want to go down through every person's comments that says nice video and say, you know, hey, thanks. I mean, I definitely want to give thanks to everybody 
who watches these. That's for sure, because it wouldn't be a thing without you guys. You know, it would just be me talking to a camera like a crazy person like I'm doing right now, except for the difference is there's actually people on the other side of that little that little screen that are actually watching this. That's what separates me from being crazy to just a little crazy. Um, so yeah, this, this wouldn't be anything without you guys. And it will continue to be not really much without support. So, that's a thing I should actually probably queue for another one when we're doing. Just gonna run around Quarry Mill the whole time like I did when I was recording the first video. I was just running around the uh, upper parts. That really took it out of my voice though. I'm not used to talking this long. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about how that's gonna go. I'll definitely, uh, if it doesn't work the way I'm hoping, I will try and change it up the best I can to suit everybody's needs. Hmm. What next? Oh yes. That is what is happening right now. And what has already happened. Now for the what has yet to be. Um... There's a few series I do plan on reacting to, unfortunately. They are all sequels. And unfortunately, none of them are out yet. So... Not much I can do with something that doesn't exist at the moment. Some sort of... I can't even talk. Um, some videos that I want to... Uh, some series I want to continue when they start back up again is uh, Overlord Season 2. The things I say, I've already seen the first seasons, so obviously I can't re-react to them. Overlord Season 2. Code Geass Season 3. Um, what is it? Oh, Ruby Volume 5. Obviously. Uh, and... I haven't heard anything about it, and it's probably not going to happen, since I have yet to hear any kind of news, but if uh, Log Horizon gets a Season 3, that'll be definitely something that goes on the channel. But as of right now, Log Horizon Season 3 has not been announced, nor do I believe there are any plans to continue. and. The other two are not out yet. Or other. Th I'm losing track. Jeez. Um, yeah, they're not out yet. Three. Other three. So, I, uh, I have to wait for them to be out to react to them. Which kind of sucks. I wish I could have them on right now. But, I don't. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Sorry, looking at my, uh, all of my trinkets tends to jog my memory on stuff like this. A question for you guys is, um, I don't know myself, and I probably will have looked it up by the time this video is out, but... Do you know if the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, is able to record videos like the PS4 can? That's the only reason I'm able to get this Final Fantasy data and any of my real Let's Play stuff is because the system itself can record. Uh, because another a Let's Play I want to do, it wouldn't be for, gosh, probably two more years now because it was just now announced for the West is Monster Hunter Double Cross. I would love to do a Let's Play for that. And um, 
yeah, I would do it on my 3DS, but I don't have the software to do such. And I don't want to spend three, four hundred dollars and send my only system of that to uh, Japan to possibly get it hooked up, possibly get my 3DS stolen. And from what I've heard, I don't think it even works with the Excel, which is what I have. So, kind of a bust for doing the games on the 3DS itself, for me. Uh, let's see. I thought about doing Bloodborne for a Let's Play. I'm already a little under halfway through the game, though. The thing is, one, I haven't played it in a very long time, so I don't really remember anything. Two, I don't know if I could consider that a blind playthrough, and I don't know if you guys would be okay if I just start over, because eventually I will start remembering some things. Uh, and obviously I'm not just, as I was saying before, I'm not just going to start over and say blind playthrough when I've obviously done stuff on it already. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I kind of have quit my the Sky of Five Let's Play. Um, I don't necessarily do this for the views, but it's got like two or three views, and it's one of the earlier things I put on my channel, which tells me you guys aren't interested in seeing it. And if you guys are interested in seeing it, then it really doesn't need to be on my channel. You know? It's a it's a waste of space if nobody wants it. That's how I see it. So, if there is people that are interested in continuing, let me know. But just by the views themselves, it doesn't seem like it. So, I'll probably be probably be scrapping that unless otherwise you know stated what is this person doing it's okay come back the portal's open we can go home. not quite um <laughs> so that's that's the reason it's kind of stopped i was trying to you know get this guy out there it's very underappreciated, and it's one of my favorite game series. Uh, but that message doesn't seem to get through, and I get it. It was only the first two episodes, which was the very beginning of the game, which is like 1% of what that game has to show. And I really should continue more, so it's not like people have really seen much of it. But considering it's something I've already beaten before, I was upfront about that. I've actually already platinumed the game on my PlayStation. And if I do get a Switch, I plan on buying the complete collection again and beating it again on the Switch. But... Yeah, I don't see that happening as a Let's Play anymore. Now, if Disgaea 6 comes out, which again, underappreciated franchise, I'm surprised I've even gotten five. But if a six comes out, you better be damn sure that's gonna be on the channel, at least, you know, for a little bit to gauge interest again. So, that's that for the Let's Play. Um, I don't really play a lot of games. Which is why I'm kind of worried about the whole Let's Play front of the channel. I've been wanting to do them. It's just that I don't usually have the money to buy the games, nor the time to play them a lot. I have maybe six game franchises series in my, my room right now, which are my favorites. There's Dark Souls, there's there's a Soulsborne stuff, um, Monster Hunter, Disgaea, 
Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 11. That's kinda it. Um, oh, and Persona. My bad. How could I forget the Persona? I need to pay attention more to what I'm doing. Um, but yeah. When it comes to Persona 5, that's another game I would like to, to do a, uh, a playthrough on. But again, I've already beaten it. And more importantly than that, because if I were to play it again, I could just, you know, discuss what I liked, what I didn't like about the levels, the story, you know, that stuff at that particular time. But the bigger issue is the whole Atlas thing and them kind of dictating on whether you know, that you can't post um, after a certain date of gameplay. Which, if I'm gonna do it, and I'm, if I, if I get, you know, to that point, it's, chances are I'm wanting to do it all the way. And chances are you guys are wanting to see it the rest of the way. Which, there's no point at that. If I can't, you know? Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of what to talk about. Or rather, I'm trying to think of how to... Oh yes! There was another uh, show that I thought I might do a react to. Unfortunately, I got the news that there will be no season 3. And that would be Konosuba. Which is halfway good and halfway bad. And this is just going to be a tangent, but it's a tangent I went on earlier when recording this. And I kind of want to say it anyway. Is that I'm not even sure I would put, Kon put Konosuba on my channel. Because... I'm trying to think of a way to put this, because I know there's going to be plenty of people that definitely don't see eye to eye on me with this, but I, no pun intended, I am not a big fan of fan service in anime. I think 90% of the time it's just distracting and takes away from the show, and Konosuba tends to not have a lot, but it definitely has it. A good bit and enough to take me out of the uh, story. Yeah, Konosuba has a story, right? I tend to forget about that. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I probably would have put it on my channel, but it would have been somewhat reluctantly. And the conversation, the uh, thing I was wanting to get on is again, I can't, I don't really like fan service in anime. It's not for me. It's just... Oh, too late. Um, it's just distracting. And this is going to be weird for a lot of people to hear me say, but as a story, for the story, I really, really enjoyed High School of the Dead. But that fan service every time took me right out of the show and just uh, I like it I, I mean I still like High School of the Dead I've got a uh, little paneled poster behind my bookshelf of it but it's not up and it's because it's one of those shows where it's like, it could be so much better if fan service wasn't there. I mean, even in my mind, it's it can be distracting in one of my favorite anime ever, Code Geass. Every time there's fan service in Code Geass, it takes me right out of the damn show. And just makes me sigh. And facepalm. And... 
somebody died. That's a thing. Uh, I just can't do it. I mean, I can. If it's, you know, light enough for me to get past, I can. I am so freaking amazed that I got past it in High School of the Dead. Enough to even cosplay Hirano at one point in a convention. But... The reason I'm saying this is because most modern anime has a decent bit of fan service these days. And it just totally puts me off the anime sometimes. So that's why there's a lot of stuff that I might normally react to, like even in this anime season, that I otherwise will not because of that. And by recent anime, I'm just even talking about, you know, 2000 and up. And there's not to say that there wasn't fan service back in the day, because there was. I mean, it might not have been as in your face about it, but it was there. Um, so it's not necessarily just a problem with, you know, newer shows. But it is, I feel, more prevalent and takes up more of the percentage. And that's just a little rant I was wanting to have, mainly just because I had it in the last video that I was doing, practicing for this. So, you know, for consistency's sake. Why did you pull it so soon? Huh. Just let me get a little aggro first. Why not? Look at me, look at me, I have a pumpkin on my head. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna probably get off that topic now. And again, I know a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with me on that. But that's how I feel. You. Uh... What's the next thing I was going to talk about? I know I mentioned uh, Kodoba Zombie Deska, but I think that was as a part of the whole fan service bit. And how that, while that did have a okay bit of good, well, a good bit of fan service, I still liked that show because it was funny as fuck. Um, but I think that's roughly it. As a condensed version, yeah, with the, with the video link condensed. What the fuck is he talking about, right? Uh. Oh yeah, there was another thing I wanted to ask you guys. For videos kind of like this, and maybe not necessarily like this, like not this long or anything, I was going to see if you guys were interested in possibly seeing some like speed art it wouldn't be colored and chances are it wouldn't even be on the computer because again my desktop recording probably couldn't handle it uh <clears throat> what do we get from there oh a tiny bolt i think i already have that yeah. um but yeah, it, it wouldn't be able to handle it very well, is what I'm trying to get at. So it, it, it couldn't be on the computer. I would have to take my camera, point it at a piece of paper, and draw. Kind of like Mark Crilly style. Um, except for nowhere near as good. Because the uh, little he the hex man kind of title card you guys see at the beginning. I didn't draw the background of it, but I did draw the character itself. That is my own creation. Um, I'm trying to draw a comic of my own. I'm just wondering if you guys, if, that's, if that was something you guys would be interested in even seeing. Because 
I don't really do fan art. I rarely even do commissions. Not that I'm really good enough to, in my opinion. I just draw my own characters for my comic. And as just drawing those things, I'm not quite sure if you guys would be super interested in even seeing that. You know? Um, again, I don't know if I would draw them as like their own video, or if it would just be something in the background, kind of like Final Fantasy XIV is right now. Uh, really just depends on, you know, what you guys want. If you're not interested, then I'm not going to do it. You know? That's just how I see it. Oh yeah, I don't even have my second move yet. But yeah, because the way I see it, the reason I bring up the art is because while I may just be reacting to things, anime in and of itself is a very, you know, creative medium, and it tends to draw more creative people to it, because it is such. And I feel everybody has their own, their own, you know, anime or manga in their head. And I do too, obviously. I'm trying to put it into paper. But because everyone does at the same time, I'm not so sure I'm going to be so unique or special enough to warrant their own videos. I mean, you know? I might, you know, do stuff as like a... Like a side thing, maybe extra videos whenever I get the time, like maybe talking about the character that I'm drawing or something, but I don't expect you guys to be super interested into that, but I'm just kind of throwing it out as for the idea of it, for that sake itself. Uh, you know. Uh, let's see here. Um, and I actually kind of lied about not doing fan art. It's something that I don't typically do. But... Uh, can I reach it? Yes, I can. When I was at that housewarming party I was mentioning before, I did some very quick sketches of some Monster Hunter creatures. As just as a challenge. My buddies were drunk, I don't drink. So I was trying to find a way to have fun and while I was drawing, they said, hey, you wanted to want me to challenge you because we were talking about Monster Hunter. It's like, could you draw this? Could you draw this? So I did some speed drawings. All of them were done in about 10 minutes. Maybe 15 max. So... Ouchies, that was my pumpkin face. So I did them. Most of them... They're not bad, but again, they were, they were super quick. Most of them aren't even, like, completely shaded, just partially shaded. Uh, ooh, that so I'll I'll put them on the screen and I'll probably minimize Final Fantasy fourteen to do it. I don't know if you guys really know Monster Hunter, but I'll try to put side by side comparisons of said monsters to my quick sketches of them. Uh, one second. It's kind of hard to play this game and do that at the same time. I might just have to scan them. Er, I don't have a scanner. But take a picture of them with my phone afterwards and... This is slow enough. 
This would be... Can I even... Mo, my phone is dying. That's just great. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll add them in as I go, because I don't know how long my phone's going to hold up, and that's another reason why I would rather much have a digital camera. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap this up, I suppose. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, with that, I thank you if you made it through this video. Um, whether it had been you actively actually listening to me, having me on the background, or hell, even just it auto-played and you just said fuck it and left it there. All of the above, you know, I appreciate you guys. I only have 32 subscribers right now. So each and every one of you guys count. You, you matter. And while I'm typically not the type to ask for subs or likes, I will say at the end of this video, if you like, not, not this video per se, because this is just a talking video, but if you like my other videos on my channel, um, feel free to like them or subscribe. I feel that'll naturally happen if people actually like the content, so that's why I don't really say it that much. Uh... It lets me know that you guys like a certain thing and are interested in seeing more. Uh, but with that, I must say, where is it? This is the Hex Man, and I will see you guys later. Oopsie. I messed up. We've all stunned each other. Bye.